Hey everybody, Steve Sheets here with Ghost Ranch Communications doing a quick tutorial today on how to do some beautiful color overlays on top of photography to help you get maybe some brand color on top of some pictures in your presentations. Adobe has blend modes that is kind of a no-brainer way to do this really quickly, but uh, can be done extremely fast here in PowerPoint as well and still have some really beautiful results. So we just want to talk real quick about how to do it. So here's something you might see, you know, you've got a gradient of brand colors and a photograph and you just want to marry them together in a way that looks really, really nice. Uh, if I were in Adobe, I'd probably use the multiply blend mode to get this effect here on the left. And then uh, over here in PowerPoint, you can see I've done something very similar. I actually kind of think the one from PowerPoint looks a little bit cooler. It doesn't take very long to do here either. So let's talk about how to do it and the thing people usually end up with is this kind of muddy thing over here on the right. This is what happens in PowerPoint if you're not careful. I'll go ahead and show you this is just a gradient sitting on top of the picture. And if I right click on the gradient here, go to format shape, you see all I've done is set on the gradient stops a transparency of 50%. Didn't mess with the colors at all, didn't mess with the photos at all. So I'm going to delete that if you're not careful and start being careful. Um, here on the photo, I'm gonna turn the contrast up to, I don't know, we'll try 30%. Um, saturation, I'll take that up to maybe 120%. And that's just helping me get more of the richness of that photo to shine through the gradient because I've cranked it all up. And we'll come over here to my color stops and uh, this really cool feature in PowerPoint under more colors. If I change right here to HSL, I think it's HSB on, uh, on a Mac, B for brightness or L for luminosity here on a PC. I'm going to turn the saturation way up first. In fact, we're going to take it all the way up to 255. And then I'm going to turn the luminosity down. And what I want to do is get a darker version of that color so that I can make it more transparent not have it so dark that it looks black. I want the richest version of that color I can get so that as I turn up the transparency, um, I'm still seeing that color. We'll just do something like that. Um, then I'm gonna do the same here to the blue. And turn that saturation up. And then here for luminosity, let's go go down. You can go pretty dark with blue usually. I'll leave it right there. And there we have it. That looks pretty cool. There's uh, the color is getting a little wild, so maybe I'll turn either the saturation or let's try turning the brightness down on the photo just a little bit. And I think that looks pretty cool. I'm good with that. And there you have it. We've got a beautiful color overlay right here in PowerPoint done really quickly. Play with the settings on the photo. That was contrast, saturation, brightness, and then um, HSV or HSB. Turn up the saturation, turn down how bright it is, and uh, get some really dark, rich versions of that color so you can turn up the transparency and get a really nice effect. I'm Steve Sheets. I work for Ghost Ranch Communications. We make the art for storytelling. Give us a shout for all your presentation needs and uh, presentation collateral maybe for your marketing department. We would love to hear from you. Feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a good one.